So the other day we got five stumps dug out of here, five decent size dead stumps that had been here since we moved in. I uh, got a couple other really big ones. Maybe I'll hook up our, our heavy duty stump wrecker and put it on the JCB, the, the teleskid and tackle those. Uh, I don't know, I didn't really rate it for that size of a, a teleskid, but we'll see if that HD bucket can hold up to it. That'd be a fun, a fun test. But today what we're doing is getting rid of those stumps and filling in these holes. We're just going to do some backfilling and I wanted to show you guys, I really like this three-point carry-all. I really like this Atagrapple on the bucket too. So I wanted to just kind of give you a visual on how those work in a couple different scenarios. And uh, you know, for our purposes here, we're only moving those stumps. I kind of have this whole little, I don't know, some kind of, some kind of habitat row that I'm making, I think. Maybe that's what it's called. I'm, I'm hoping it fills in with grass and everything. I kind of lined the edge of a little uh, marshy area with all this deadfall that we had and I'm hoping the weeds and the grasses fill in around there and, and make it look not so like it looks and uh, hold some, some critters, give them some good hiding spots and everything else from the coyotes and the fox and all that good stuff. So today we could have moved everything over there just with the gravel, right? 
but I wanted to show you the carry all as well because this is a cool product for folks that don't have a loader, um, don't want to get a loader, or maybe they've got a loader in a bucket and you just want to have another way to carry stuff. So um, more of the visual, the conceptual idea behind it, just to show you what that's all about. There's a bit of a learning curve. If you put it all the way down to the ground, that latch will sometimes release on its own. Um, and I do see down there where you could definitely put a pin through there to prevent that from happening. So it wouldn't come unlatched if you don't want it to. I, I didn't feel like that was that big of a deal today. Took the ball hitch receiver off of the back as well to make it more look like a regular bucket edge on there too. I do think what would be the cat's meow is if you had a hydraulic top link on your three point to really adjust that angle on the fly with the carry all. That would be pretty slick. Uh, we'll have a hydraulic top link on this tractor at some point soon. We do have them on our other machines. I am impressed by this added grapple though. This is, you know, there, well, I like a regular grapple because it doesn't fill full of dirt and all sorts of other stuff that just hangs out in the bucket. Um, I like a grapple rake because of the fact that you can, it's like a rake. You can rake along the ground and, and push debris into a pile and then grapple it up and take it away. But this is a really cool concept. It's a lot cheaper, especially with the prices going sky high these days on everything. I know I'm not alone on, on that. It's a nice way to get into a grapple at a much lower price point, utilizing the bucket you already have. It doesn't, it doesn't mean you don't need to have the additional hydraulics on your tractor, right? Um, the, the Summit tractor comes standard with those additional hydraulics. Our other partner, Summit Hydraulics, separate from Summit tractors, sells these add-on hydraulic kits for the front and the back all over that you can get as well. You still need to have that, okay? There's not an electric option available right now, but super handy, much lower cost. I'm really happy to get these videos out showing this added gravel because I think it's gonna be the solution for a lot of folks out there. So getting towards the end of filling in all these holes, I realized, man, we don't have enough dirt. And obviously that makes sense. We just pulled out some big root balls and everything else. And so uh, we have some big holes to fill. And fortunately, I've got a pile of topsoil at the back of the property. So I just made one trip back there and that's really handy, right? It took fewer trips because I've got the carry all on here and the bucket on the front. So we could do a double scoop that way and get them both. And uh, other examples, I think, you know, we've shown loading up like the Ultratec trailers and, and hauling a big load of dirt that way too. So that's another option to do that, of course. But really, I think just that one scoop with the front and the back was enough. Maybe, who knows, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. Um, we're heading out of town for a few days and then maybe this will kind of dry out and we'll get lucky. I, I want to till this all up. That's the next step here is to till it all up. And common question, especially this time of year, and you see it a lot in the fall too, is I need to level my yard out, right? And the biggest challenge with leveling a yard is the existing sod. Um, it's all clumpy when you try to rip it up with a box blade or any other tool. And I think a tiller is really hard to beat. It's gonna just chop up everything very evenly and consistently. It's gonna eliminate those high spots and those low spots. If you do have severe high spots and low spots, at that point you can take a box blade, a land plane, your bucket, even a landscape rake, whatever, and pull material where you need it to go. But you're gonna be able to do it a lot easier with completely tilled up ground. And while it seems like you're almost starting over from scratch, it's gonna give you by far the best results. So I guess this is kind of step two, right? Ripping out the stumps, but we gotta get it in the condition that we want it to be in. So step two is filling all those holes back in, getting rid of the stumps, get them out of here, then filling the holes back in and kind of getting a rough grade, just sort of back to normal. This is plenty good right now. And that next step is gonna be tilling it out. This whole area is gonna get 
just tilled up. Probably two or three passes, piece of cake, and get our renovation that close to being ready. We'll be ready for seed right after that. And you know, this is the second best time of year to seed, all right? The best time of year is, is early fall, but early spring is the next best time of year to seed. And so we're gonna uh, jump on that as, as best we can here. And I think by the time mid or late summer comes, it's gonna look like a normal lawn. So if you wanna see more about this project, make sure you watch that last video about digging these stumps out. Hit subscribe to be notified of more videos in the future. And if you're looking for something for your tractor for the front end loader or the three point hitch, more than likely we can help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com to include shipping, rewards, and financing too. I wanna to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.